How's it going, everyone? Equinox Phoenix here, and today we are going to talk about Titans Season 4, Episode 5, titled Inside Man. Okay, so, um, pick it up where we left off last episode again. Um, Connor's injured. Rachel and Sebastian are locked in a room together, titled The Silo. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Anyway, um, the team splits off with uh, Tim being on monitor duty, and Tim is bored, because, you know, Tim wants action! And, uh, you know, he's just... Uh... Anyway, they see a giant fucking snake! Because, of course, they do. <sighs> Um, the snake proceeds to then uh, now uh, they do try and go after it and um, yeah no bad uh, so they alert the team the snake then proceeds to possess um, Connor and As a result, Connor uh, manages to trick Rachel because they're unaware and Rachel's locked in a room um, into switching places with her. Um, the team discover what has happened when um, Dick and Corey see Rachel getting chips. Hmm. Anyway. This then leads to a fight between Dick and Corey versing off against Connor being possessed by May Bennett, Mother Mayhem. Anyway, um, the fight ends in Jinx knocking out <laughs> Connor. And they then discover it's not just any snake, it's a fucking curse. We need a blue ash, a Constantine special, uh, to undo the possession, and it has to be done in a way that goes through the curse's defenses, which isn't so simple. So, the plan is thus: we split off into two storylines that will reconverge later on. For the first storyline, Gar goes and transforms into, um, oh, hold up. Before that, Jinx and Gar had a convo, and Gar confide confided in Jinx that he's been seeing a skeleton tree. And she tells him that that tree and the area it's in is called the Red. Those of you from who uh, uh, read the comics will recognize what the Red is and its equivalents across uh, the... Um, Various elements of the universe. I will not go into that <laughs> in this video because um, it's not relevant yet. Outside of a quick mention. It is a source of power. That's all we get. Anyway, the plan is thus. Gar, go Gar transforms into a virus. Because Niles Calder said, You could just configure DNA into anything. And viruses are just primordial DNA. Cool. Um... Dick's like, mm, I don't know if this is going to work. Anyway, they go with that. Um, Gar is injected into Connor, and uh, he does successfully manage to kill off the snaky boy curse. And, um, yeah. He successfully managed to kill off the snaky boy curse, and um, it comes out of it alive and well, right? It's all good. Anyway. Oh, and while this is happening, Jinx apparently starts praying. <laughs> like, I'm just like, what? Anyway. I guess she really likes Gar. Cool. Anyway, um... On the other uh, side of this episode, we have, um... Oh. <sighs> 
we have Corey and Rachel taking Sebastian out of Star Labs, where they then end up going to the diner thing. I, I forget the name of the diner. It's it's whatever. There, Corey uh, inputs uh, on the ju on the jukebox. Um, And um, it takes them to like another plane, and as a result, um, we get to meet Corey's teacher again, uh, who is an evil shrew, uh, with psychopathic tendencies, and um, she should definitely be put six feet under. Um. She tries to mind, uh, mind fuck, uh, Corey into killing Sebastian. Corey refuses, and um, she then teleports into a burst of flame portal type thing, and is like blah 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 blah, 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 blah Angie, uh, Angie woman nonsense that like no one gives a shit about. Like honestly, she also shows um Corey a vision of the future uh of her kid with Dick, which, yay, Destiny's cool. Anyway. Um, after this, uh, Mother Mayhem shows up and tries to kill off Rachel and Corey. Sebastian stops her, says, you want me, leave them be, and then says the words. Uh. The two titans are sent back to the diner where, um, all the peeps are. Sebastian goes with his mother. And we see the people uh, chanting, brother blood, brother blood. And then that's when the episode ends. Now, <sighs> I knew that he was going to inevitably go. Like obviously, I, like we know he was gonna like become brother blood and all this because it, it was you know dropped on us and he's like the main villain and whatnot. <sighs> I will say this: my hope is that it ends with a flip, kind of like with Rachel, right? We got in season one. Um. With Rachel, how um she managed to overcome her darker uh, nature, uh, if you want to call it that, and um become a hero. Now I'm hoping we can get like a towards the like at the like final episode or two, probably the final episode, where uh you know Sebastian flips back to our side, right? You know that's my hope. Will I get it? Probably not. But hey. <laughs> Um, you never know. Oh, I also hope we get to see more of the red because that would actually be cool. You rarely, if ever, actually, no, you almost never. I think this is the first time I've ever seen it in any form uh, be revealed. I don't think it's ever mentioned in animation or in live action. So this is like the first time we see it outside the comics, which is really cool. You only ever hear of the green getting mentioned in like one instance in like an anime movie. And I'm like, but why? <laughs> anyway. Tell me what you guys thought of the episode down in the comment section down below. Tell me what you guys hope for the rest of the season down in the comment section down below. That's going to be it for this video. If you guys haven't already, hit like, hit subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys next time. And as always, stay bright.